Trev's Hockey Show. I'm the Trev. That's still too sweet. Anyway, continuing on with retired numbers. And much like the McKenzie video that we did, find the link above my head. This is another one, and the third one in total. We've already covered the first one, too. You'll find that link there. Two of his number retired while never playing with the team in the NHL. Yeah, it's another one of those WHA ones. And it's another one from a defunct team. But more importantly, it's the first one to start the Quebec Nordiques. So, having said all that, let's talk about the first number retired by the Quebec Nordiques that was belonging to J.C. Tremblay, who wore the number three. Let's talk about it. So, J.C. Tremblay's seven-season career with the Quebec Nordiques of the WHA. There's your asterisk. <laughs> Started with, the, with the, pretty much the formation of the World Hockey Association on July 20th, 1972, when he was like one of many NHL players, signed away from the NHL in the upstart WHA. Now, his NHL career wasn't anything that was a laughing matter. As a matter of fact, he played for 13 seasons for the Montreal Canadiens. And he was just as solid a piece to the Montreal Canadiens' second dynasty as any other piece in Montreal at that time, helping the Canadiens win the Stanley Cup in 65, 66, 68, 69, and 1971. So, no slouch when it comes to winning. Now, Tremblay was more noted for his defense than playmaking abilities, putting up 363 points in 794 NHL games. And of those 363 points, 306 of them were assists. So, not much of a goal scorer, but he could set you up nice. And with that being recognized by the Nordiques as well, he be named the team's first captain, a role he would hold for the first three seasons. Now the Nordiques would miss the playoffs for their inaugural 72-73 season, but they would only miss by three points. So it's not that they weren't competitive, but offensively for Tremblay, it was his best season to date, leading the league in assists with 75 and leading the team with a career-high 89 points. Now, that career high is for any league, the NHL, the WHA. Matter of fact, he beat his NHL career high by 27 points. Now, thanks to that offensive outburst, they would see Tremblay earn his first WHA, all, first All-Star team nomination. And we'd also see him win his first Dennis A. Murphy trophy, which is the WHA equivalent of the Norris trophy, handed out to the league's best defenseman. For the 1973-74 season, the Nordiques would see a slight improvement in the standings, and the team would ultimately miss the playoffs once again, but only by one point. They were so close. And Tremblay would contribute 53 points in 68 games, a far stretch from the 89 from the season before, but it was still good enough to earn him a WHA second All-Star team nomination. The 74-75 season was a better turnaround for the Nordiques, who would finish first in the Canadian division and make the playoffs for the first time in team history, with Tremblay contributing a career-high 16 goals to go with 56 assists for 72 points, which is good enough for fifth in team scoring. Now, the Nordiques would eliminate the Phoenix Roadrunners in five and the Minnesota Fighting Saints in six, on their way to the Avco World Cup Finals. But unfortunately for them, they ended up against the defending cup champs in the Houston Arrows, who were led in no small part by Larry Lund and some other guy named Gordy Howe. Now, with Houston being the defensive trap that it was in that season, Quebec was only limited to seven goals in a four-game sweep. Now, for his part, Tremblay would contribute 10 assists in 11 playoff games and for this season, Tremblay would be named his second WHA first All-Star team nomination, while also winning his second Dennis A. Murphy trophy. So not a bad season, even though he fell up short. The 75-76 season would begin with Tremblay no longer wearing the captaincy. That would go to Michael Parizzo. 
But it would again be a great offensive year, not just for the Nordiques, but also for Tremblay, who boasts with the Nordics boasting five 100-point scores and three 50-plus goal scores. It's, it's pretty good offensive numbers. Which would ultimately help the Nordics finish two points behind the Winnipeg Jets for first place in the Canadian division. And Tremblay would add 12 goals and tie the team lead with a career-best 77 assists to match his career-high in points of 89. And while the Nordiques would make the playoffs again, they ended up losing in a heartbreaking five games to the Calgary Cowboys. It's rather, rather, ouch. <laughs> but for the regular season, Trombley would be named his third first, first team All-Star. And that would also be for the last time in his career. The 76-77 season would be the Nordiques' best season in terms of results finishing first in the Eastern Division by a margin of 23 points over the second-place Cincinnati Stingers, with Trombley adding 35 points in only 53 games. Now the playoffs, much different story. The Nordiques would dispatch the New England Whalers in five, as well as the Indianapolis Racers in five, to go for another trip to the Avco World Cup Finals. And in a goal-filled seven-game series, the Quebec Nordiques would finally win the Avco World Cup against the Winnipeg Jets, with Tremblay contributing 11 points in 17 playoff games. So good to get that monkey off the back, right? The 1977-78 season was supposed to be a year defending the Avco World Cup final, or the Avco World Cup trophy, and would see a more modest point total come out of Tremblay, putting up 42 points in 54 games. And yeah, the Nordiques did make the playoffs a game, but Tromway would only be limited to one game and making it eventful adding one assist. Ultimately, though, know, the Nordiques did not repeat as Avco World Cup champs. And in what would end up being the final year for the WHA and for J.C. Tromway, the 78-79 season, Tromway would again put up respectable numbers, contributing 44 points in 56 games, and again, the Nordiques did make the playoffs. However, injuries would play a part in Tremblay's season, and he would not play a playoff game for the Nordiques. So, with the league folding, and four teams from the league merging with the NHL, and after 21 professional seasons, J.C. Tremblay called it a career before the NHL merged with the WHA. And that, in a nutshell, is J.C. Tremblay's career with the Quebec Nordiques. Now let's talk some numbers. So, in seven seasons with the Quebec Nordiques in the WHA, Tremblay would play 454 games, putting up 66 goals, 358 assists for 424 points. Now those 358 assists are second in WHA history. As far as the playoffs was concerned, Tremblay would play 34 games, putting up 2 goals and 23 assists for 25 points. <clears throat> now, Tremblay was named to the WHA's first All-Star team in 1973, 1975, and 1976, while earning his only second WHA All-Star team nomination in 1974. <clears throat> He's two-time Dennis A. Murphy Trophy winner in 1973 and 1975, an AVCO World Cup champ in 1977, he was elected to the WHA Hall of Fame in 2010 and had his number officially retired by the Quebec Nordiques during their inaugural NHL season on October 28th, 1979. That breaks that down. So I think it goes without saying, he's probably one of, if not, the best defenseman in WHA history with his amazing playmaking ability and his dedication to the position and to winning. No, for his move from Montreal to Quebec, I mean, yeah, it's in our province, but you could say right move, right time. I mean, if there was ever a point for Tremblay to definitely show how good of a defenseman he really is, or really was, the WHA was the right place for him. I mean, sure, it would have been nice if he had some NHL years in there with the Nordiques, but hey, when you're already a five-time cup, five cup champ, it's not going to make a world of difference, right? <laughs> but 
that was us talking about the number three, which is retired in Quebec, worn by J.C. Tremblay. So that was another one of them Trev's hockey shows. I want to thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you've made it this far. And if you have made it this far, hey, consider giving me that thumbs up. I mean, you're here. I would appreciate it. I think I've earned it. But if you, in all sincerity, if you do like this video, feel free to give it that thumbs up. If you want, if you're considering pushing that red button that says subscribe, don't even consider it. Just do it. It'll make you feel good. It'll make me feel good. We're on a path to 500. So let's make that happen. Let's keep that algorithm happy. Uh, in terms of what's coming up next, well, I'll move past getting through the defunct numbers. I'll talk about some actual NHL retired numbers. Now that we've got the three players who didn't play with their team in the NHL done and talked about, we move on to others. There's a team I got to catch up. There's a couple teams I got to finish. There's a team I got to start. But that's just a small token of what's coming down the pipe. But either way, in the meantime, and in between time, be looking for more videos from Trev. Later.